Yo, this video has been requested so many times. I have pushed it because there is a user interface coming. It hasn't came yet, come yet, so let's do this. So we will create an atomic drop so you can create mint on demand NFTs for your fans, for your collection, whatever. So let's just dig into this. Bam, here we are. The first step, this will go very fast. I have a full video that describes this if you need it. Here, let's create the collection. Bam, hit there, fill up this information. Bam, we have a collection. We go into the collection. You need to create the schema. Uh, information on this already exists. You create the schema, you fill this out, you add the attributes you want in your uh, schema. You have the schema, you go into this. This is the collection schema I have. In the collection, you can go to mint it, create the template. We go create a template. All of this information is in the video that will be linked below. Uh, when you have created a template, now you can go and mint new assets if you want. So I have all of these I can select from. I can mint new ones. But this is not what we're going to do now. We have the template. So I will use this template today. So here we have this. This is an old NFT that I made. Uh, like it was kind of make, making fun of something that happened in the Wax ecosystem and the Pepe, uh, Pepe collection that came around. So we will use this, we go over to this link that is below, bam, we are at the create drop on the Atomic Drops smart contract on the Wax blockchain. If this is difficult to follow, it's okay, I will soon slow down and explain everything. Here, link, as I said, will be below. We have first, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can read it more easily. The enter data here, I have pre-filled this just to make this more smooth experience. So, authorized account, this is an account that has the right to create NFTs and, and edit the, co the collection on your uh, on your collection, which means this is the one that you use to create the collection, most likely. The collection name, so this is mine, is anio.block1. That's, that's my one, so this is my collection name. This is the first thing that become a little bit difficult, as this to mint. We need to use these, uh, these symbols. This is because we are creating JSON data for the backend to actually be able to read this and understand it. You go here, template ID. This is the ID. So if we go here, we have the template ID here. This is the number that we are interested in. Let's make this bigger so you can read it. Here, template ID, issued supply. This is what we wanna go. So we go here, we write that in here. Uh, in the exact format here that will be also in the descriptions you can find this and then we have this thing after we have a comma and then we have this information which is tokens to back that is you can back the nfts by wax or uh, by default which means that if anyone burns the token later they will get the wax from the token uh, if you don't want that you can just leave this clear but you have to add this information regardless this is just empty this is not backed by anything uh, and then you close this information down Nothing strange here. We go down, listing price. So this is in WAX. One, and then we have eight zeros because WAX has eight decimals. This means that the price of this will be one WAX. If I rather want this to be in US dollars, I will write 1.00 USD. This is the listing price of this collection. So if anyone wants to buy this and you want to peg it to the US dollar price, this is what you want to do. The settlement symbol, settlement symbol, this is what kind of token they will use to pay for this drop. And if you want them to pay for wax that is pegged to use dollar amount, you add here eight comma wax. What this means actually is that there are eight decimals in the wax uh, currency and the, the wax is the token symbol. Very simple, so this is actually how it works. You just need to understand what this actually means. The price recipient, this is the account that will get the payments from these uh, NFTs. Off required, this is if your collection is going to require some kind of whitelist, private key, something, a CAPTCHA or something like that that you want to have with your drop. I will turn this off for this one. Max claimable, this is how many the max supply of this drop can ever be bought. So we have 100, we have the account limit. This, this means that one per account can only be bought here. Account limit cooldown, there is zero, that means there is no cooldown, that means they cannot buy anymore later, doesn't exist, so you have to add something here, the zero. Now, next thing that can be a little bit difficult, start time, end time. This is in Unix time, that's a computer time, it's seconds, well, let's go here. It is seconds since, I think it's the January 1st, 1970. This is how many seconds, so it just keeps adding here. This tool will be linked below. I'll make it bigger so you can actually read it. So, 
what you will be able to do here is you can take so we can take here in my collection here i added this time already we can copy it we can paste it here we can take timestamp to human date and we can see this is 4 p.m friday april 30th the same day i'm recording this so that is when the drop go live and here we can see end time this is when the drop will close so if it's not sold out yet this is when it's sold this is one hour later so this is just a drop for one hour for anyone watching this video very fast after it has been released if you want to calculate this date because hey okay I, do i have to do math of this no you can just do this here i want to have this on month five day one hour five and you see the time here changes directly you have to change this according you can also change to local time gmt whatever you can do whatever you want here just double check that the time is correct because the the drop will not be open until this time is hit so we have them then we go into the another of these json data fields so we have display data this has to be the exact so you can just copy it from below we have the curly brackets we have the name that means that this is the name of the of the drop this is an example for the YouTube video. This will be the name of the drop here. And then we have description. Here we can add a lot of information if we want to. What I have done here, this is your text. Very simple to understand. This is my description. Go, go and subs subscribe to my YouTube and join my Telegram. Here if I wanted, I could add a link to the Telegram, but hey, I'm not going to do that now because why haha <laughs> so here i just submit and i sign this transaction on my ledger right now and doo -doo 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 -doo, here we have we have the drop we can go now to this information so we click on here and we can see all of this information here blah 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 okay this doesn't make a lot of sense but this is exactly the sense that the, all the websites that we can list this drop will understand they will understand everything here if we go here to okay we can do this in multiple ways let's do this from the same place here we can go to traces we can go down and we can see here we will have a drop id here so what we can do here we can go to wax.atomichub slash drops slash here and bam we have the annual drop here it's all up and ready we can see the timer has started it starts when i record this in five hours 50 minutes it's it's pegged to one dollar so if the wax price go up or the wax price go down doesn't matter this amount will go go up or down but the dollar will remain the same we can see that it's ending after one hour after it's open. There is 100 mints available the first mint will be 51 because i've already used this template before and I have one remaining claim. Everything is solid, nothing wrong here, nothing strange. Uh, so this part of the drop is very simple. If you want to add a CAPTCHA, it gets a little bit more complicated. What you have to do then is when you set up the drop, you have to put this off required correct. And when you have done that, you go here in the contract, you go to actions and then you go to add key. Let's go, let's see here, add key, oh, whoa, create key, create key, create key, here. If you wanna create the new key and you want like a, like I have used the perf the, the private drops before that only my fans can, can use, then I will create the key here. I will add a key to the drop ID and everything and I can, I can go through this. This will be an advanced drop video that I can show later. If you comment below, you want to know how to whitelist, how to add CAPTCHA, how to do all of these things, comment below and I can make sure to make that as well. I wanted to make this a little bit shorter for everyone that creates collections and do not understand how this works and you want to make it work. So this is the basic thing. This is how it works. Let's go. Let's have fun. Let's create NFTs. And come on. It's awesome. It's fun. This is so exciting. Peace.